All right, you guys, it is the moment that we always are waiting for. It's the kayak showcase at ICAST 2023. We're at the Old Town booth. This is where it started on the water. We got a chance to ch test that out, the EPDL. Uh, that was a really fun ride. There's a lot of other kayaks here, though, that we definitely want to check out. So we're going to go around the showroom floor and show you what is coming up this coming year, all the new models, all that fun stuff from a whole bunch of different brands, some stuff that you've probably never even heard of or seen before. There's going to be some fun surprises in here. Let's go to it. So we're here at the Old Town booth, and they just dropped the EPDL, which is this electric assist drive. So you are able able to do manual pedaling as well as get this electric assist once you press this plus button it's got five settings it basically starts pedaling for you think of it as the pedaling gets easier and you go faster and we got a chance to try this out on the water maybe you guys saw that video if not go back check it out it was a blast this thing is great very comfy seat as always so it does also have a cruise control setting so once you go to five it basically loads the battery up and then you can just stop pedaling and it moves on forward just like a motorized kayak very fun and if you want to go back to manual say you're coming up an obstacle you want to turn around you don't feel safe in the water wherever you are it's all good just pedal back once it goes right back to manual pretty crazy very seamless uh, and very fun a very fun boat to go around in now you do have all the accessories of this upgraded modified big water hull so they basically took their big water kayak they opened up the back section here a lot as you can see uh, upgraded a lot of the different parts you have your shallow water anchor uh, slash other accessories port back there so all mountable stuff it is all around just a, a totally kind of like upgraded hull design which is really cool to see things that you can definitely expect and love out of your old town you've got your front hatch storage here we've got mounting plates they've added to this these are replaceable as well you can drill them you can do whatever you want with these anything that would fit on a rail mount yak attack design anything like that is going to fit in here so they've got their rod holders they've got their fish finder uh, this drive does also come up you can see the locking setting right here so we can just turn that and we can lift that drive up we do have a little dry hatch storage there as well always nice to have and convenient forward facing rod holder you got a kill switch here that has to be engaged for the drive to be working the way that you want it to oh look a cup holder that that's always that's always fun to see and it drains out right down into a scupper hole there uh, very comfy seat as always something that i come to expect with any old town that i see so nice thing about the adjustability i should have done this on the on the water day but if you actually pull these pins, you can slide that back. It's very effortless. Uh, all around, you're gonna have like your molded handle at the front, molded handle at the back, making it easy to carry this thing around. So I didn't even notice this when we were on the water yesterday, but we have some storage underneath here for your tackle box, one or two, maybe some tools. And then underneath that, you can put your battery. So very convenient setup here. Look at that waterproof hatch all of that is great i'm gonna show you the drive in water because they have a really cool display over here in just a second one big thing we got to call out the retail on this is 59.99.99 uh it runs up to 6k right so that's what you're looking at it is a motorized pedal and easy to paddle kayak you don't really get that with any other designs out there so it's very unique it's wired for you so it's off the shelf ready to go no wiring i can tell you i've wired quite a few kayaks at this point it's not fun to do so that is hyper convenient to have So in this video, we're not doing any of the, like, the current existing models. We're only focusing on the new kayaks. However, you gotta keep in mind that the Old Town has been around forever and they have an amazing lineup. So something to factor in is they can hit just about any price point. You can hit your pedal kayaks from the 10 foot and 12 foot models. Here's the 12, next over is the 10. So this is the PDL 120, very comfortable, very smooth pedal kayak that you're gonna enjoy. There's the 106, which is, yeah, I would use that in the river for sure. Then we got our Minn Kota powered one, so the 106. And next to that, the autopilot with spot lock, which we got a chance to test out recently.
So that's it for Old Town. Let's go see what other kayaks are dropping this year. You guys, we are at the Bonafide Native booth right now. I've got Tyler Brown here who's going to walk us through the brand hey new skiff. And we're going to look at the, the Native uh, Titan X as well in just a second. So walk me through the skiff, man. What do we got here? Yeah, we're really excited about this platform. We think it's unique. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great for anglers, especially that they want some simplicity. I know we've kind of in the kayak fishing world we've gone all over the spectrum and it's up it's down it's everything yeah. it's nothing <laughs> and, and so for this boat we really wanted to keep it simple and easy and also really functional for for somebody who wants to get especially in low draft situations this boat drafts really really low but plain simple open deck platform it's kind of a hybrid kayak sub um and lots of deck padding up here no slip you could take this bungee off too if you didn't want it and just have a really clean and simple for like fly anglers yep. or people who just wanted to awesome. have some open There's space, throw a net. A lot you can do up here in the front. Mm -hmm. This uh, seating system is from our SS series, been really popular. Very comfortable. Really comfortable seating. Love that. We wanted to put it in this boat, make sure it's here. We sew this at our factory in, in Fletcher, North Carolina. It's the kayaks made in Fletcher, North Carolina, USA. Awesome. All of our kayaks are. So um, we're excited about that. You can take this seat out and it does fit a Yeti 35 uh, Tundra or underneath here. Nice. So you could stand on that, sit on that. Um, if you want to sight fish something. Like, like a real skiff, right? Because the, like, idea, awesome. the idea is that this is kind of a combo. Between yeah, combo. Sub and, yeah. Exactly. Sup, a skiff, a kayak. Dude, Another thing, awesome. we've, we've integrated this track over here, not only for you know your standard yeah. accessories, but between the track and this insert, you can actually run foot pedal steering on the third and put. We've been testing with a Torquedo 403 yes. on here. Because you guys have so. your own mounting plate. Yep, we do yep. have a mounting plate. And we yeah. basically there. have our four bolt pattern that is pretty universal now mm -hmm. in the kayak world. Uh, but big, big open area on the deck here. And then the ability to add a micro anchor on the back too for those, those shallower areas that you want to fish and hold position. We have an integrated drop down skeg underneath it. Um, so if you're wanting to cover some water, um, you want to go straight, the skeg down tracks really nicely, or if you're in some slow moving river or creek, draft and draft you, and low, you, you're going to get over stuff and uh, maneuver yeah. it really well too. So, that's yeah. such a huge benefit. I, yeah. yeah, I'm excited. About it, that. Yeah, that's definitely huge. On the skiffs, like maneuverability is, is awesome, and these things can get where a lot of people can't, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I gotta say, like, the colorway on this too is one of my favorite. Yeah, in the kayak. we love I this colorway. This is our steel blue. Yeah. Uh, we also are gonna have it in our olive color, and the olive looks really nice with these uh, oh, these brown pads the too. The best. And then uh, a taco and gray color too. So Ooh, I love the packs too. You uh, guys have come out with these. Yeah, this is our Sideline Series pack, yep. so really That's quick and awesome. easy to attach to the back of the seat or carry it on a shoulder um, to wherever you want to go. Super clean, man. Retail. Loving this. What's oh the, yeah, what's retail on this is going to be twelve forty nine. So <laughs> really achievable. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. I'm trying to do like a park and sleigh is what we're calling it. So like, instead of park and play. So there you go. That's what we're trying to do with this one. Make it easy. Make it uh, easy. Well done. That was, yeah. That's going to be my new life motto, I think. <laughs> park and sleigh, baby. Okay, were well, you going to Target or you're fishing? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So obviously we can't leave the Bonafide Native booth without checking out the new Titan X. So I'm here with Logan Parks and he's going to walk us through. Now, you do you fish out of this? You've used this a bunch? I have not used this. You have one. not used this it's yet. It's so but fresh out of the, out of the mold. It is hot and fresh. I'm I got excited you. to get in one though. Awesome. So yeah, just walk us through some of the features if you could. And then Paul's going to show you guys as we talk. Let's do it. So one of my favorite things about the new Titan, I've got the Slayer. I kind of did a DIY rigging and you can tell that they really sat down and designed a boat that's meant to be fully rigged out. Everything on this thing makes sense for, you know, a tournament angler, someone that's going to put a lot of electronics, a lot of graphs on this boat, you know, battery compartments. They've got the Easy Connect system. I was wondering what that yeah. was. So that's a new Easy Connect system. Well, this is like a port you could drill into. I think this is an empty plate. Is that right? Yeah. So they, I think they just put this on top of it and you've already got the connection. Unreal. Yeah. That's going into your prop back here. Yeah. So this makes getting where all your electronics are going to be, your power poles, right. your motors, getting all the wiring super easy. That's a giant hole for you to be able to move all that product and then get it securely in there, waterproof. I love that. So this is kind of my favorite thing about it is to actually have a battery box. Yes. 
So that's how that wire, you know, comes down through there. Water starts there, comes through yeah. here, short trip, really simple, and all your wires come out one spot. I love that. Is that bungee, bungee strap down on that? I think it's clips on the wire. Yeah, you got, the, you got these clips, so you can just oh, okay, cool. clip it on there. Yeah, I've got a big box on mine, yeah. and I just like kind of made it myself. And yeah. so actually having yeah. a battery box is really like a, especially because what are you running Dakota Lithium? Yeah, or I got Dakota, yeah. 12 Which, volt. Uh, I think it's a 100 amp hour. You got the 100. We did yeah. a 54. Yeah. We got a 54 on ours. Yeah, which is large. So yeah. tell us about the wheels, because everyone knows about the the, uh, the the Boondocks landing gear. We've been running Boondocks for a while. Tell us why we're here, because this is not Boondocks. Yeah. So this is the all new upgraded wheel system. It's a heavier duty system than what we had. It's a you know a wider wheel, a bigger wheel. It's going to support this heavier kayak, I think, a lot better. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's obviously super convenient. You know, you just lift them up when you're on the water. So these are really small, and especially without having to do the install on the boondocks, which can be really difficult. This is built in. Yeah. So you're pulling this pin, pull it up, push it down. Always apprehension. Pull this thing out, spin it around. And you lock it back in. That was so just smooth. Just like that. Compared to the Boondocks, that is so smooth. Now that's not a jab to Boondocks, it's just fine. But being able to get something that's built in on your cock for the brand, the Titan X that you're getting by Native, I love that. Without yeah. damaging the hull is huge. Yeah. And voiding your warranty. Yep. I love the clips here too for the paddles. This is something that we've seen on a couple of other models, but you always are gonna want to have in a in a big boat with a big pedal, you still need to have for safety your paddle. So I love having that here and it doesn't get in the way of your bar here. So that's really nice too. So we got the upgraded seat here it's uh, actually a 360 swivel seat it's kind of similar to uh, oh, it's locked into place yeah. oh so i like you, the lock you um pull this thing up you can actually spin the seat oh my lord plus it's on slides so you can adjust it back and forth look at that <laughs> with the tray underneath yeah. and you got the tackle tray I mean, this thing that is huge. fully loaded, dude. I love that. Now, this seat we've used before in some of your other models. I will say, though I love the simplicity of it because the weight's down. Yeah. Super comfortable. I love that. And the 360 swivel, that's awesome. In my opinion. Yeah. It's so nice. Getting in and out, money. Yeah. <laughs> that's my biggest thing is, like, you know, getting in the kayak. Like, I've, I've got the Slayer, and, and, like, you're stepping in it. This way, you can just sit straight down in it. I mean. That's awesome. And you guys have the rod tubes here, too. For rod rods. storage. So yeah, you can so get they, four rods with the rod tubes. And where are those that. going? Are they coming right back here? Yeah, they're coming back here. Um, lay, they lay right in here. So kind of keeps them out of the way. You know, like if you're getting in some tight stuff, you don't have to worry about your rods getting broken. Now this has got your standard propel, current, the current drive that you guys have for the natives, right? The same yes. one that you've been used to so is what you're rocking here. It's got the, uh, the pedal drive system. Obviously, it's got two motors on it too. So <laughs> yeah, but uh, so I think that's one of the thing. That's one of the things for me that's always been really cool about the natives. Hyper customizable. And when you look at this boat, when you first see it, it's it's like it looks empty. Like there's nothing to it. But then that's just like a blank canvas. Because look at how modded out this model is. Two, two power poles, <laughs> the electric motor, the electric motor in the front. Your two screens in the front. You got the wheels. You check, got everything hey, that you need. Check this thing out. Look at the lighting. So look at the electronics. Box. It's you got, the, uh, me? got the waterproof cover. You can adjust the lights on it. I is mean, that, that's not, is that that's not native, is it? No. Who? I don't even know who makes that. I don't either. You can adjust the brightness of the lights on it. I need that lighting. System. I need that too. <laughs> but when you look at this, you look at the level of customizability. This is a blank canvas. Then you got your pod storage here in the front. Uh, this, again, this is something that I think is super heavy duty. You gotta have it. Look at this. Oh, yeah. it's got a Bluetooth to the controller. Wait, what? The lights are on an app? <laughs> Get out of here! You have to change the color of the LED on the, on Wait, the buttons. Wait, you're controlling the... Is this your guys' new part? Uh, is that I did yes? the build. So who actually is the manufacturer of the light so system? The light is actually manufactured by Oxbeam. Oxby. Oxby. Got it. That's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah, that thing is awesome. And that's one of those electric ports too. So that's the same one that's in the back. Yes. Logan, is that a forward facing rod holder right there? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, yes. Is it? So you got a forward facing rod holder right there. That's a big one for us and always has been as kayak anglers. And it's in the right spot on the right hand side. Because I usually have my rod in my right hand. I've got my net in my left. And when people put it on the left side, I lose my mind. So that was good for you guys. We got actual anglers doing design. I like that. Um, 
So question for you, Logan. For the blank canvas, I'm gonna go buy one of these. What is the MSRP for one of these? So plain Jane, this thing's gonna come out $35.99 and uh, then you can add whatever you want to it. Uh, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try and not add stuff. That's However much you can afford to put on there. <laughs> Let's pop this bad boy open right here. New kind of a new design for your oh. electronics. Oh. So I fit that. So you got the, in there perfectly. the molded in uh, waterproof for your battery, and then I think this comes out, and you yes. can get underneath as well. You get down in the hole. You get that light out of the way, and there's all your wiring right there with a little extra storage. So very cool. All right, thank you so much, man. Yes, sir. Uh, Logan Parks here walked us through that Titan X model. I'm excited for this one. That's this boat is bad ass. <laughs> <laughs> and we can use that. And we yeah. could use that. <laughs> all right, so uh, we had to stop by this booth. We got the Oru kayaks. If you guys haven't seen these. I'd be surprised, uh, but this is a foldable kayak. I am here with Jess and she's gonna tell us like, why would I do this over some of the standard kayaks we've come to you know, expect in stores? Why would we do this? Um, well, just to start, like this whole concept came about because our one of our founders, um, he was a kayaker, moved to a city, didn't have a lot of space for his kayak, like for his big kayak. Um, we live in the same, you know, San Francisco Bay Area, access to so many different types of waters. He came across a great origami article in The New Yorker, and he just kind of got to thinking. And so what he developed, his whole thing is all about uh, making the outdoors more accessible, um, just getting people out of the water. And so we started with our flagship boat here, which is a 12-foot closed cockpit, great for open waters. Most, uh, yeah, assemble some quickness, it's some quick practice, a couple of minutes. It's only 17 pounds. Uh, 17 pounds! Uh, wow! Folds up these two here. Fold, uh, this is our 10 foot inlet. Mm -hmm. um, they both fold up into this size box. And then we have these three versions here, and they fold up into half this size. And you got tracks on these two that comes with it, or you add them to yeah, it? Yeah, so this is, um, this is basically something we just recently launched with our beach LT Sport. It's fashioned to work after our original beach. Um, we've added sort of a couple of changes. We've added the, yeah, the rail system so you can accessorize with your you know, rod holder, paddle, you know, paddle holder, cup holder, whichever else your GoPro. And then it's got an upgraded gel seat cushion that comes as standard as well. Yeah, that looks okay, so a very lot. comfortable. Yeah. yeah, that looks that looks awesome. And then it folds up into this. Yeah, it folds up into that size. Do you mind if I pick this up? Go for it. May I put this on my back? Because you guys, <laughs> this has backpack straps without knocking over everything. Where's my other strap? There we go. Oh, the uh, hip pad too. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, and then you can. Yeah. Jeff, are you going to go bouldering or kayaking? Right. I'm the coolest kid in school. <laughs> Do I look cool? So, 17 pounds wow. for the longer one? No, 17, 17 pounds. 17 for the shorter one? How much is this? 28 pounds? Still nothing. Well, like this feels good. For some perspective, a standard sit inside kayak, even some of the lighter ones, are 45 pounds. So, you're still talking almost half of some of the lightest sit insides yeah. on the market. Yeah. This is super light and uh, that's pretty convenient. And how long does it take to unfold this up when you get to the water? When you get to the water, you know, with practice, it's obviously, you know. Sure. And nature of the material, like the material itself has muscle memory. So the more times you fold and unfold, the easier it gets. You can wow. pretty much, it's almost like, hello, please be a kayak. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's just kind of going that. Yeah. yeah, it will go in that. But, you know, I've got a lot of practice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But even, you know, like this one yesterday, I, or sorry, when we did the outdoor demo, I never assembled it before. Sure. And it was like, I'm definitely under 10, but it was like about five minutes, but I've got real experience with the kayaks. Yeah. So Jeff did it 45 minutes. It takes me longer <laughs> to put all my tackle into my Hobie right now. So yeah, I think but, this would be a convenience. Pretty much with practice, definitely under 10 minutes. Cool. Probably closer to five and even three, two for some models. I love awesome. it. What's, um, we got to talk retail though. So this one um, is MSRP. This one is $14.99. Okay. Wow. Our late kayak here is like $4.99. Really? Uh, yeah. $4.99. Wow. Uh, and then for our, which we didn't don't have them here, we do have a 16 foot tandem oh, Lord. and then a 16 foot a buddy boat, yeah. which is this, but with four inch yeah. feet. Wow. Um, and that those two go up to like 19.99. That's still not bad, not bad. 
Yeah. Is this so? Is this showing stability or like durability of these? This strength? is actually um, part of a new line we're doing for in camp. And this oh, is like good a, idea. a flip cube. Yeah. Call it a flip yeah. cube. And so basically, it can be a stool, side yeah. table, footrest. Okay. It also has. Get your kids with it. <laughs> storage. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Nice. So you could have like ice and then cold drinks in there or whatever. Okay. Or as a dry. Yeah. How strong is that, dude? That's strong. You, you should, think I, I can mean, stand on this? You should be able to. One sec. Let me clip it. Find she's, out. She's looking at me. She's like, we'll you should be able to. Jeff, what Jeff, what do you weigh? Sign this liability. <laughs> I weigh 230 pounds. Yeah, so. you should be good. Oh, I'm so scared. Don't be. Oh. Why are you so nervous? He's Sorry. nervous. Yeah. <laughs> He's nervous. <laughs> do it again, Jeff. Prove it. Very stable, too. Nice. Is that just proving the strength of your kayaks? I'd say that proves something. That's the material that these are made out of, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then one thing I will say, like one of the huge advantages of this product is because all of our products basically, with the exception of our tandem, fit into a backpack so you can like hike into remote locations or kind of off-beat track, sure. take them on an airplane. Yeah. Uh, you can get anywhere with these things. You can absolutely go anywhere. Wow. And they're so lightweight that like if you've got a kid, the kid can carry their own. I, you know, <laughs> not <sure>. my kids. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> well, when Dad has to pick it up later. Dad, I'm tired. But uh, no, this is this is awesome. Thank you so much for your time uh, and That's enjoy the rest of your show. Yeah. Appreciate it. You too. Oru. Aru. It's got its platform. Yeah. Oh, on the back. Yeah, that's right. As well as I that. was wondering and about that. that. Was so it's inflatable too, right? Yeah, it's right. That's, that's a right. stand. Stand up. Yeah. Stand -up. yeah it's what? That eight hundred dollar boat. Retail. Re retail. Doesn't wow. Matter. With with a prop for uh, a place for a prop in the back. Yeah. It's amazing, man. Well, that's pretty Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like shocking. It is. Dude. Thank you, man. That's why we always get the pros out here that know what they're talking about. This they're is pointing the man. me in the right direction. That's the man. I find it usually it's the smaller people that are standing on it. Okay. Yeah. He's looking at you saying, don't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking well, at me he, saying, this is for you. I mean, I stand up in these kayaks, standing up here. Yeah, that's a little bit of a smaller guy that's usually doing Watch that. Me, yeah. Watch talent. me. Watch me. There you go. The gremlins, you mean? Cool. Uh, <laughs> make, make it rude. So we're here with Pelican, and Pelican really also represents wilderness systems. We have a lot of people asking us uh, on our channel about value-driven design. So that's why we're here today talking with Kevin. Cool. So uh, with Wilderness Systems, this is a really big story here for us now with the eye attack. So this is an 11 foot inflatable fishing kayak. Um, the big difference between this boat is we're actually doing a drop stitch floor, but we're also doing a full drop stitch top to this boat. What is a drop stitch? So drop stitch, if you look at it, started with inflatable sups. And what it is, is there's two layers of material and there's all these little strings that are inside. Mm -hmm. So when you inflate it, they literally hit a point where they're very, very stiff and strong. Yep. So you're able to create these big panels and you're able to form the shape of a boat much better. Traditionally, inflatables have all been just tubes. Tubes. So you're very limited to your design. So that's how you're getting these larger pieces that are actually form-driven and a little more rigid. Absolutely, and then this top piece on top of here strengthens it up even more. Mm -hmm. So we got a hull shape that's amazingly, um, it's a different shape than what's normal for a round tube boat, but it's also incredibly stiff. So it paddles like a hard shell boat. We had one of our dealers the other day that's been paddling for years, and I told him, you really need to get out on this boat. And he's and he talking to you. Yeah, he paddled it about five strokes out there, turned around, came back, and was like, holy smokes, yeah. this boat paddles like a hard shell boat. Yep. So um, so we we do have the seat here, so you can actually sit down at this level, I, flip this down, and sit at the raised portion as well, too, which if you're gonna stand, it's much easier to sit higher and then stand up like that as well, too. Now, this is one of the big, has always been, I would say, a drawback for inflatable kayaks. You've not seen a lot of uh, rigid materials mixed in with those inflatable materials. Yeah. Everyone wants to have their kayak in a backpack, which I think yeah. is a really cool concept, yeah. but, but as a fisherman, and especially someone who films, you yep. got to be able to have anchor points for a product like this, yep. which is a huge innovation. Yep. And then you want to be able to have a rigid seat for a 6, 10, yep. multi-day trip, 6, 10 hours yep. on the water. 
That is a huge innovation point for me. Yeah. So comfort, comfort being in most inflatables have had very basic sit on top seats. They kind of squish around, yeah, slide up yeah. underneath. I fish. When they get much wet, everything. they're so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So and you can pop that seat out and sit on the shore if you want to as well too for lunch. Yeah. Um, that makes a really, really big difference. But for fishing, you really want to be able to sit higher in a wide, stable boat like this. Yep. So this guy's 38 inches wide, so that, it is very, very stable. That's as wide as the Hobie. Yeah. 360. Yeah. And then the whole boat is only 50 pounds and it comes in a backpack when you're done, comes with the pump. Um, it also does come with a small battery powered um, electric pump. It'll oh, wow. bump the volume into there and then you finish it off with the hand pump as well. No too. way. So it's pretty cool. So I got a yeah. question for you though. Yep. This is where the people, this is the first question I'm going to get. What's the Kay. retail? It's $13.99. That is completely nuts to me. Like that's the win right there. Like if you if you wanted to if you thought you were into inflatables, right? Thirteen hundred bucks is a low investment, in it, my opinion. It it really is a great great price for what you're getting in this boat. Um, so this boat will come with the with the bar on the front and the frame seat. We got a lot of extra added Scotty rod holders and stuff like this on here. That's all extras. Um, but it, it does have the patches. There's four patches that are on here yep. to be able to add Scotty or other rad mount, rod mounts on here. Yeah, I can tell. Can go in here too. That's designed yeah, yeah. so where you can get a yak attack option in there as well. Yeah, so I any, have to say any, anything that's going to have the four bolt pattern on there can go onto there. And any the other thing with this, this guy's about, I believe it's 14 pounds for the pressure in here. Yep. And when we do our drop stitch boats like this, what we do is we put the pressure release valve that's in on the there. So if you do pump this up and sit it out in the hot sun and it starts to expand, it'll literally off gas that. Oh, pressure no way. So it can't go beyond that 14 oh, pounds. Smart. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, here's another thing I want to do a video on this. I don't have an inflatable so I can't do this right now everyone's oh it's gonna pop I'm gonna have a bad day when it pops so it is possible to pop these it's very very difficult and your draft is like 0, 0.0 in these yeah I also notice you guys have a skeg it does have a fin that's on the back end of the boat and it has a little bit of a keel line that's not molded into the front of the boat so it helps the boat track really really well um, I haven't had any issues with ever popping any of any of our um, drop stitch boats. They stand up really, really well. But if you but did, you, you can, and they are repairable. It's pretty, pretty easy to repair That's these. That's the deal. Um, these boats basically come with a small repair kit. You can just slap a patch on it if you need to. I look at this boat because it is so compactable yeah. that this is a great boat to take out into the outback somewhere, throw into your truck or whatever, pop out in the middle of the ocean. The other thing is, is I like to go up north and go pike fishing. I'll fly into Whitehorse sometimes, and I've driven up there multiple multiple times so I could bring my fishing kayaks with me. I can now get to the airport, yes. check this bag, pull out, I get a rental car and I can drive off in the it. middle of nowhere and go fishing with this boat. And all so, I need is a patch kit, guys. Yeah, there you go, yeah. So that is the inflatable. We've yep. got one that is hard-sided. Yep, so this is this is our recon. We've had this out for a few, couple of years now. Um, so, the, so the recon, this is a 12-foot boat. It is very, very wide and stable. This is our HD version that comes with the pedal drive. So Look at with, this pedal drive. So with the pedal drive on this guy here, you can actually just hit this button and it pops a drive up and out of the way. And then you can actually release these clips as well too if you want to move this right up out of the way. Um, so it's kind of nice. And, and this can, is automatic. So you don't have to align this to do it. When you, when you, you, raise you, it do, you do need to look down in here and align it okay. before you hit this. Got if it. you don't, it'll still come up to about five, six inches of draft. Hits the bottom. So if you see a log or something like this, just smack it and it'll come up. Worst case is the prop sideways, but it's still only sticking down about Perfect. that far. Perfect. And then there's a keel line that's on there. Um, it does have a transducer scupper underneath here. This is an incredibly stable boat. I can stand up and kind of walk around on the boat. That's how stable wow. it is. 38 so inches as well? It's amazing. Yeah, this guy here, I believe, is 38 as well two yes it oh, is oh the swivel so, seat so this is brand new for 2024 the boat will come with a swivel seat on wow. this um so we looked at doing a bunch of testing on this number one was all of our team guys got a chance to paddle this and immediately said okay that's it, I'm done. I never want to paddle on a regular seat again. I got to have Fair the enough. swivel seat. So that's great. So but simple. We, but we looked at whether or not we locked this seat or not for paddling position. Yep. And what we found was there was more negatives to locking it than there was to not locking it. And as people pedal or paddle, it opens up your hips so you're actually able Getting to swivel more power. back. So it actually works better. I've used it. It's fantastic. My biggest thing is if I want to get into the boat, I love if that. I want to get into the boat, I can actually turn sideways, yeah. slide on. 
on. Slide your feet up. And then if I want to access stuff in the back, it's way easier to access stuff. I don't I have to that. kneel up on my seat and trying to get now, into here. What so. is this? So we got a little bit of a flat storage compartment back here that you can put stuff, but it's actually designed to be able to put your spare paddle on either side. This is a big um, win. But you can also lay lures and stuff back there. So and it's see how this fits right in the back here so they're up. low? Yeah. That's a big win for yeah. us. No, I've not seen that before. Tank, tank wheel, tank wheel on Huge. the back compartment back here, and then the other thing is it's got a little access back here. So if you do want to actually start attaching power pole <laughs> stuff like this on here, so it, so if you do get the HD version, it does come, but you can order the base version, and then you can add the full pedal kit with the rudder and everything. You guys um, notice this one has the motor guide on yeah, the front. Yeah, so we've, so we've got like, a motor guide attached uh, under to show people that you can actually attach a front mounted motor as well too. I, I love so your. There's lots of options. Yeah. I love your paddle option here yeah. this is for yeah paddle park underneath yep. here again for tucking rods, rods. You can still tuck them on that flat area and tuck them out of here as well too nice big steel compartment big storage compartment Love the bin. and you can pull a tray out and put stuff inside of the boat I do some backcountry trips and I'll stuff extra camping gear oh, yeah. inside of the 100%. boat. 100%. Now, so, yeah. what's the retail, though? Uh, this guy here is going to be, I believe it's $28.95 for the full, do they? HD. You uh, 20, 2749 for what? the full HD version. 2800 yeah. That's yeah. under 3000 yeah. For yeah. a heavy duty pedal drive? With a swivel seat. With a swivel yeah. seat. 1400 yeah. for the basic. Yeah. 1400 yeah. for the Wow. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a motor yeah. guy, if you're a if you want to have the torpedo on there or whatever, yep. you know, motor you choose, 1500 bucks for this base with a swivel yep. seat to get into, yep. that's unreal. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, this man. was it. Yeah, I love the good. Canadian accent. We're finally getting into our people. <laughs> We're from Michigan. I got a place on cool. St. Clair on the Canadian side. Uh, so I have a lot of appreciation for a value-driven uh, options that you've got going on here, and these are well designed, well thought out thank you for the walkthrough this is awesome thanks guys thank you, appreciate sir. it man take care so this is the go boat we got out on this you guys have seen clips of that before um it is interesting it is fun it is okay it's a hyper it's a dangerous thousand dollars for a circular inflatable backpack boat it's got some of the cool accessories mounting ports this type of stuff that you want to see from an inflatable it's got the motor it's got the battery it's got the seat however it also has a hole where you can just lose an appendage and that's right down there and it's hard to drive because the motor's in reverse we are at the yak attack booth now i've got wade here wade is going to walk us through some of the new products from yak attack if you guys don't know yak attack i don't know how you wouldn't obviously this is like the staple kayak accessory so wade what do you guys got for us this year what's coming out oh, we've got a bunch of new things here if you guys want to come over here and take a look at this bona fide ss 127. Uh, we can start right here. Yep, this is the original boss man's boat there. Yeah. Um, this is going to be our new track pack. Uh, it's a little brother to our black pack uh, kayak crate here. Oh, uh, it's going to be a track mounted storage option wow. for anybody that wants That's things cool. up in front of them. You know, you're out on the water, you're changing out terminal tackle. I know a lot of people forever, they just drop it right in the cup holder. Right. So this is going to give you a more secure option. Or they step uh, on it in the boat. Stuff like that. You <laughs> or know, when you flip. Yeah, absolutely. Is uh, two of them? Yeah, it's, so it's two of them stacked on top of each other. Uh, the inside, you see oh, these they dots. they stay together. That's going to be for different uh, dividers, organizers, tray okay. drop-in trays, oh, things like that. So awesome. the way this is going to work, you just uh, get the little lever there, they snap apart. Yes. And come down here to the track base. Uh, Titans on with a T-bolt, one of our mighty bolts and a knob, just like everything else. And you've got Unreal. slotted holes, so infinite adjustability. Super uh, lightweight, too. Yeah. Nice. And you can stack. I mean, you could be weird and stack a whole bunch of these, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, not not waterproof. They're going to be water shedding. I think I uh, okay. so they have a seal on the inside, so any water splashing over the gunnel, if you're in any swells, you know, rolling with a you know Torquedo 1103 like <laughs> Jeff Little out there. Yeah, um, oh, like we got there. we got on yeah. that boat. <laughs> so these are going to lock together. They're going to stay nice and tight. Yeah. And what's the retail on those? Um, we're we're working around it right now. This is one of our newer prototypes, so we need to sit down and kind of figure that out. But hopefully, everything will uh, release sometime here in the fall, and so we'll have a much better idea here in the next month or so. Uh, just trying to showcase it a little bit here at ICAST. Fair enough. That's Retail a soon. Peak. Yep. Sneak peek of those. So, nice. Uh, yeah, around on the other side, we've got some other cool things going on. Um, so right here, uh, this is going to be our Switchblade Live. So this is wow. our uh, live scope transducer mount. 
Uh, so wow. you have your directional indicator there right on the top. You know. Oh, that's so, oh, um, that's so, so everything helpful. moves around. It's got a quick connect base. So uh, the base is going to allow you to track mount this. Uh, you can flush mount it right to your deck if you've got a John boat. Um, nice. And everything flips up and stows what? out of the way. That's so necessary. I, so we have uh, we have a basic stick right now. We do the forward facing as well, mm -hmm. and you just toss the stick in the boat. That's basically it. Yeah, so this well, is you know, so much everything better. is out there from DIY. I've seen people, uh, you know, using wood screws to connect yep. the PVC yep. to our lock and load bases. Can you talk about this. This is so important for people who don't know about or don't have the forward facing sonar. The ability to move this. Can you talk about that? Uh, so yeah, it's going to be completely adjustable. You'll be able to turn this thing up. You'll have a 90 degree feature, which I know comes extra with a lot of other mounts. Right. Ours is going to come with that. So you nice. got complete adjustability down here to move this up so you can pan it in different directions. You know, the up, down, under the boat, you know, along that bank, however you want to do it. Uh, yeah, and it's all, yep. you know, on a knob, just like the rest of our lock and load system. So it's quick, you know, fast adjustability right there on the water. Um, no tools, everything is completely toolless. Um, so moving on, one of the other things that uh, was a result of this product um, is our new through hull XL. Um, our standard through hull kit was about an inch wide hole and the plug-in on your uh, live scope transducers, it's a little bit bigger. So now we have a fully compatible grid lock option. Nice. Uh, much bigger, bigger rubber inserts with bigger yep. hole diameters for all your new, your, your new bigger wire sizes for things like this. Now, th now th if you guys haven't seen this, this is the black pack. If you haven't seen this, this is probably, I would say, the new standard for crates. Yes. And certainly anything with a lid. Now, you can put batteries in here. You can put tackle in here. You can put shirts. You can put, you shirts. Can put shirts in there. You can get shirts yep. in there. Uh, but really, it comes with three Store different. your trade show junk, yeah. you know, whatever you need. A couple of beers. Three different <laughs> sizes, right? Yes, three uh, different sizes. A 1313, 13, your standard milk crate size. Uh, this is more your traditional size with the 1316. And it actually comes in a 1616 as well, which we're, we're seeing that that is actually becoming the more popular size. We yep. figured, Duh. you know, the 13 by 16 would be it. No, no, but no. No, I people, want all people this want to take, Yeah, they want to take as much as they can out there. So the 1616 is, is, has been phenomenal as well for us. Light, we put six light, rod holders light, on here. Lightweight, yes. heavy duty, but this is the deal. So see this grid of screws here. Mm -hmm. This allows you to do whatever you want to do as far as rod tubes, accessories, bolting something on top, putting that's right. more storage Infinite. on top. It's unbelievable. Or even bungees, you name it, you can do it with that. So I think that's what makes this so awesome. And also, if you're flipping, you're not losing stuff. So I can't, that's, that's right. one of the only crates that does a lid really, really yeah. well. And one of the misconceptions with this, when people see it, they think these holes go all the way through. Um, they're all molded in screw bosses. So where you see a hole on one side, it's blocked on the opposite side and it has the repeating pattern on the inside. So you have the same customizable options on the inside of the box that you do on the outside of the Unreal. box. Unreal! Such a, like, this is one of that's unbeatable. It's, it's one of the unheralded like innovations. I know everyone's in them, and I think that's great. Mm -hmm. But I don't think people even know who have them, what they really have compared to what we had before. This is yeah. taking the, eight, the I mean, the milk crate works great for a lot of folks, but this is definitely the next level. Yeah, I mean, you have infinite options as well with your tie down. You know, every black pack is going to come with our Omni hooks that we're using right here for the tie down. Nice. But uh, right here on our Omni corners, these barbs are designed for anybody that just wants to throw the bungee wow. over it. The uh, slots here in the handles are designed for oh, the, the Omni hooks as well. Uh, or you can run a cam strap through yeah. there and tie it down that way. So Even a lot of options, you know, you want to keep it secure. Love we spend it. too much money out here to go out and turtle and lose it. So exactly. the choir. Yeah. So I don't have to ratchet strap it down like my H crate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the new leaderboard. This uh, right now is a prototype, but uh, it's going to be a, a polycarbonate injection molded board. Um, Tags on both ends. Yeah, so ours is a little bit wider. Uh, we have more of a V profile here, you know. Nice. Did a lot of design, a lot of thinking, a lot of looking at different things and what, uh, what was going to fit the fish best. This here, a lot of, uh, a lot of tournament series, they require a sticker here. Mm -hmm. Going to break up that transition. 
So um, yeah, yep. so yeah, we're gonna come right out of the gate with that sticker there. Uh, your integrated uh, identifiers here. This one will be able to slide up and down the side yep. of the board. Perfect. Uh, one thing we don't have, have here on the prototype, uh, it's gonna have an EVA foam backer that is gonna give you some sound deadening principles, but also allow this thing to float right yes. out of the gate. Yes. Um, That's what I'm talking about. One other cool little feature, you have a built-in culling system right here. A lot of the tournament anglers we talk to, Yo. they're flipping back through their app or through yep. their phone. Which one was it? Yeah. You know, what was that last one again? Was that yep. uh, you know 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half? Right. Uh, so you slide these, Huge. you know, as you progress throughout the day, just right. to make it's it a little bit break easier. That point. Yeah. yeah, when you're calling, I got you. Yep. So love that. With the board, we're going to have three different options to secure this thing as well. Uh, so what we have right here is the double header version of the new. Oh. Uh, leaderboard rotor rotor grip Yeah. Uh, so you've seen a lot of people using the double headers to, to hold their yep. boards and things like that. Yep. Uh, for me, it just, you take the chance of knocking that thing off the boat, you know, yeah, it's, it's going to roll out pretty <laughs> well. Mounting it this way with the hooks on the back side, you're not going to be able to just break that out. Wow. So it's only going to roll into you, you yep. know, depending on how you, how you set it in there. And I think it just broke the board. <laughs> Broke the prototype, you guys. Hey, it happens. <laughs> That's what they're for, right? Right. These look like they're a little bit wider than the KBF they standard. Are. Yeah, it's it's, so. an, it's an overall wider board. I don't know how many you know fish we've seen where you know, your, your your big ends. It's hanging over the top. It's hanging over the bottom. Yes. So we went a little bit wider, you know, for and that that's reason. Gonna stay, that's going to stay that way. That's the plan is to stay that way. Absolutely, right? yes. Because I know that there's some kayaks that have already built in based on like the KBF board. That's going to, so that will be something yeah, people so, will have to get around. Yeah, so kayaks like the Sholey and yes. the new RVR 119 yep. from Bonafide that have that built in, it's not going to fit. Yep. And then the other question is, um, for KBF series, is this going to be an approved board? Because I think right now the only one that's approved for kayak fishing series is the is the is, whoever makes the other is one. the catch. Yeah, the catch, catch board. Thank you. Yeah. Is that? It's been a long week. Yeah, and we, yeah, and we had that conversation. It's, it's, it's in process, but I don't think we'll have any trouble getting everything uh, in line. They're just you know yeah. gotta ask my dude. I, dig, yeah. um, I love it. And then, do you guys have uh, anything? Is it is the weight total weight? Do you guys know where you want to fall? Uh, that I'm not sure. Uh, it will be lighter than this prototype here. It, oh, again, really? it's going to be polycarbonate, so it's going to be rigid. It's going to be lightweight. Okay. Um, I mean, I think, you know, a couple of pounds, I mean, pound and a half, hopefully, or you know, something like that. It, it's going to be super lightweight. I love that you guys are going after There's a lot of advantages to this board, and I love that it's a little bigger. That is freaking sweet. I love yeah, it. Man. What is this? That is one of our gear track keychains. It's been out for quite a few years, um, and oh, that's just a result wow. of us uh, <laughs> utilizing the waste from our track production. Uh, so we what? turned it into a bottle opener, lasered and anodized. Uh, just a fun little thing, but uh, yes. right here beside it, we have one of our cam strap keychains as well. And this is the same principle. We utilize uh, short cuts from our cam strap production to just you know tie up that waste. So Dude. fun little things, you know. All right, so Wade, thank you so much oh, for your time, man. man. It's a pleasure. Thanks uh, for coming by, guys. Obviously, lots of cool stuff from Yak Attack that you're going on to deck your boat out with. And uh, I'm going to take these free things, and we got other stuff to do. <laughs> uh, we're back with Jeff. It's two days later. We didn't break any of his boats. So we're here at the Torquita booth, and we want uh, we got Jeff. We stole him. We got three minutes, tops. And we are going to have him walk us through what Torquito has there, for iCast 23. There, there's still time to break things. You know? <laughs> yeah. it's, it, whenever you get a prototype, that's that's the ultimate goal, is to figure out what can I cause can I to fail. Yeah. So we're set up here with four different brands of kayaks. Uh, we have the Innovative Sportsman Osprey uh, 12, 12 936, so 12 foot 936 inches wide. Uh, it's a three chamber inflatable super tough uh i think a lot of inflatables talk about how lightweight they are yeah this is not the lightweight one it comes with a with a fully tracked out frame yeah. top loading track a seat it is however the heavy duty one so from here to here which is the main area where you would be landing fish yep. uh Fish fin puncture is, is really the first concern with regard to... Uh, Damaging uh, or inflatable. Yeah. It's also reinforced along the bottom, so we can take this thing at, uh, you know, speeds uh, up to about 6.8 mile an hour wow. uh, and just run it into stuff. We jump a lot of logs with it. Now, is this a Scotty? I have not even seen how these work. This it's, is they're all pretty much standard, yeah. uh, but they, you know, you can put the Yak Attack, oh. uh, you know, the switch pad on top Got of it. it. That, you know. 
and that that allows us to put the uh, you know put the track that, everywhere. And there's a lot of folks who would never even think that there's a possibility for getting an accessory like a hard accessory onto an inflatable. And right. we're seeing a lot more of like, how did you get this frame on here? How did you get the seat on here? How can yep. I mount my my, so my camera? I have a lot of content on inflatable kayaks on my YouTube channel. It's called the little stuff. It's the little stuff that makes a difference between fishing and catching. Oh. Uh, so it's a lot of content that's that's fishing specific, but also uh, kayaks and kayak rigging. And there is a playlist on inflatable kayaks. So check that out. It goes everything, you know, from how to do an on the water patch so you can get through the rest of your day if you do puncture one, yep. to do the permanent patch, to how you set up these pads if you if you have something other than, than the Osprey. Uh, but this just makes it easy. I you didn't track I didn't, everywhere. I didn't know you were giving me homework. I did not sign up for this. This is supposed to be a fast video. It's fun homework, man. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Uh, our other boats, we got the Jackson Kayak NAR. This is actually our fastest uh, fastest pedal drive kayak that we've ever tested. It's a really nice hull design, great for big water. Um, let's keep moving quickly. We're gonna go to the Crescent Kayak Light Tackle 2. Yeah, you like the Death Star there. Uh, I actually, this is my boat. I've set it up for, um, you know, using the command stand, the Yak Attack command stand and the park and pole so you can elevate and do a little bit of sight fishing. Uh, this one gets about 6.4 uh, mile per hour. And then the last one here is the Bonafide RVR. So I have forward facing sonar on this. Uh, here's the transducer. I got the unit there with the trans, you know, side image transducer there. Dual um, anchor wizard. So got one on the back and one on the front. Um, foot control steering for the Torquedo here with the new, these are actually new Selec design uh, angle foot braces. Saw that on your that, channel. Yeah, that is so much more comfortable than the ones that are flat. So well, I'll and put especially that back if in you, you get to a point where like if you're in shoes, it makes it so much easier to get some traction on those pedals and make sure that you're getting a quick uh, Absolutely. steer. Um, obviously we did the boondocks landing gear to, to you know when you pile this much stuff on there, you know <laughs> it's, the heavy it's, it's getting heavy. Uh, so boondocks landing gear makes it easy. So so That's I a, what I got for you. I got a question on the Torquedo yeah. stuff. So yeah. we have two models. There's the light, right? And there's the, the regular and the ultralight. Yeah. So we're talking about a well, one. Well, they're both ultralight. Sure. But one is the 403, which is a one horsepower, and yes. then the 1103. Is that what this one is, the 1103? They're, all we're showing is the 1103. Gotcha. The 403 will be discontinued at the end of this season. Got it. Is, there, is that because there wasn't enough demand and everyone just went up? This is what people are buying. It's so fast. We'll cut, we'll cut to the us on the water with the Torquedo briefly right now. I'm flying. Daddy, I'm going fast. My goodness. Look at this thing. This is nuts. This is nuts. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yeah. Because it's un it's unreal how fast this thing is, and then the turning radius is what really blew my mind. Yeah. A couple questions I know people are gonna are gonna ask us. Uh, what if I, what if you know you've got this awesome ability to kind of protect your prop here in the back? Yeah. That's an aftermarket. Innovative sportsman uh, rock guard. So you're you got the full setup. You're already rolling. What if I run into a situation where I run out of battery power and I want to paddle? Can I pull this up from the sure. from the middle of the boat? It's a. Uh... <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you, I, the longest day I've had, I've covered 41.8 miles in one day that was trolling for striped bass in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, the way that that works, and this is the battery. It's, yeah, so it's a 13.2 pound lithium battery. But this is the one you gotta get. So when you buy the setup, you, this is what it you gotta get. It comes with it. Yep. It comes with it, but it has a GPS unit in there that communicates to the throttle here, tells you your speed over land, but also tells you uh, and if we were moving, it would it would populate some yep. data here. It would tell you, for instance, you have 18.6 miles of remaining range. If you think I I got to go 20, you can back it off, and it sits right on 20. So that range knowledge is is the critical part of this system that allows you to do whatever you need to do. Now, when you're buying the Torquedo, you're getting this guy right here. Yep. With the prop. Now yep. this you have to buy aftermarket depending this on your is, yak. Yeah, this is a. Um, the this mounting is, plate. Yeah, Bonafide's specific mount, mounting plate for this boat. You're getting the no, steer the control? foot control steering. You got to. Uh, I would just. I just tell people to go through Innovative Sportsman. They do got really it. nice stuff with this spectrocord. This stuff right here, uh, and then the tubing that goes through the hull. 
uh, Innovative Sportsman does, does so many cool um, aftermarket products that make torpedo installation, you know. Go hand in hand. As, yeah, as, as good as it can be. And then you're getting the throttle control unit, right? Yep. And then the battery. Yep, and the so, charger. So then you're doing, and the charger. So you're doing wiring? And you're doing installation. Yeah. Dude. That's it. And you can go like a billion miles an hour. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much. Sure. We did really good. Seven out of three minutes. Not yeah. bad. We feel like <laughs> I gotta go. I'm late for my next meeting. Thank you, sir. I'm all right. Sorry, Appreciate it's it very right. much. Thank you so much, man. Thank you're the man. Have a good day. We have gone all over the entire showcase floor. We're I'm back. tired. I know you're exhausted. Very. And cranky. Love you. I'm not cranky. <laughs> Give me a Snickers. Never. All right. We're back <laughs> where we started at Old Town but we had an awesome time walking through a lot of these boats. We saw boats that fit in backpacks, boats that you uh, blow up, boats with motors, boats with everything else in between at all different price points. This was awesome. We hope that this was helpful for you. We had a ton of fun, and so honestly, much. we gotta try and get a hold of some of these boats so we can really put them to the test. So that's our big goal, is to get these on the water for you. We got the expensive, we got the cheap, we got everything in between, and that is what we saw at the 2023 uh, Kayak Roundup here at iCast. Thanks for checking out the video all. Subscribe, like, we'll catch you out on the water. See you guys.